What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagrith here today with an album review, this time of the 2014 self-release of Oathbreaker by Hoth. If you're not familiar with Hoth, they are a two-man black metal band hailing from Washington, and this is my first exposure to them. I've heard the name thrown around a few times, but I never actually uh, took the time to check them out until this album came out. And I'm extremely glad I uh, checked them out because... This is some very, very good stuff. Um, the best way to describe this band's sound would be melodic black metal, but there's a lot more going on within it. You could almost say that they're cinematic at points without relying on stupid cliches that are done within cinematic and epic variants of black metal, such as symphonic, where there's more focus put onto the keyboards and trying their best to make it bombastic by just layering the living piss out of the music instead of really letting the music speak for itself and realize that less is more at points and this is a band that kind of understands that concept uh, don't get me wrong there's still keyboards thrown in here and there but it's very sparingly uh, there sounds like there's a point with a cello to me um, maybe I'm wrong could have been just a keyboard thing but to me that sounds really good and it keeps it's simple, but at the same time, it makes it sound huge by writing actually good songs instead of going through all these efforts of adding orchestrations and just making it as bombastic as possible. These guys just kind of strip it down and they let their songwriting take over. And when I say that, they write more progressive pieces of music. And... When I say progressive, a lot of people will think Opeth and that sort of stuff, and I don't mean that. I mean the progression of the songs is absolutely seamless and smooth, and each song individually tells a tale, and when it's combined in an album sense, it really ties it all together perfectly, and you understand that this is a concept album without even knowing the lyrics at all. It's an album that starts off dark, but it gets even darker darker and more messed up sounding it just becomes more twisted and evil and that's something that I really really am glad to hear a black metal band doing because that's simply something that a lot more bands try to do in the more progressive death metal realm I haven't really discovered too many black metal artists uh, tackle that sort of perspective and I'm really glad to see that done because as the album progresses, it gets more and more sinister. And the ways that it gets sinister is not only like vocal performance wise, but the pure raw aggression of the music. Um, it's not all 100% aggressive all the time, but the way that the guitars are being played and the certain chords that are being struck and the notes and the way they're connected together really create this really eerie sort of vibe that you can't really shake once when you hear it and that's something that is absolutely refreshing to hear especially once again for a concept album in a more melodic black metal sense this is something that i really would recommend to people that are fans of dissection without a doubt but I would also recommend this to people that are fans of just really good, well done, original black metal. If you enjoy bands, um, what's another good comparison? Even to an extent, Skogan from Sweden. If you're a fan of Skogan, you would probably enjoy this quite a bit. Um, when it comes to the production side of things, this is a very clean album. This isn't one of those albums that's really rough and relies on a production sound to really bring the atmosphere. They allow the atmosphere to come from the music and each track has room to breathe. There's nothing that's really cluttered. There's no part in the mix that makes me cringe. There's no clipping, thank God. You will not believe how many albums I've heard over the years with clipping. That drives me insane, especially on black metal. Um, that's this well done. Another thing I gotta say about the production is not only is there room for all the tracks to breathe, and you could hear each individual thing, but all of the instruments are exactly where they belong in the mix. There's not a point where the bass just completely dominates the mix and takes over. There's never a point where I feel like the guitar is what's the focal point. It's everything is in the front, but it's not just bearing, just shoved right into your face, making for a rather uncomfortable listening experience. 
Um, they allow the instruments to be what they are supposed to be instead of being used as a crutch and that's just absolutely excellent to see. Um, even the vocals, I gotta say, the screams and the raspiness of the vocals, it's a very abrasive style, it's a very good style, and I gotta say guys, this is something that when it comes to this vocal performance, you wouldn't really expect to hear on this type of record, but with that said, it makes a lot of sense for what they're doing, and it once again adds to the utter freezing evil, ice cold, just pure dark atmosphere that you get from this album, especially as it progresses. Even the acoustic guitars are just super warm sounding, and it makes for a perfect, perfect duality to what's happening with the actual metal side of things. And I love to hear acoustic guitars in my black metal. That's one of my favorite things to hear because it adds more atmosphere because I'm all about atmosphere. And this is an album that is not deprived of that and the guitars really help add to it. Um, this is just an overall excellent album. Um, if I had to say one complaint about it is at points, depending on your mood, it feels like it runs a little long. I know that the point of it is to build an atmosphere and tension and all that, and that's fine and dandy, but if you're not in the right mindset for it, then this album just kind of drags a little bit. Um, but as I said, if you're in the mood for it, this is just absolutely perfect. So if you're the type of person that, or you're in the type of mood, I should say, where you really want to hear just super raw, cold, um, I don't, I shouldn't say raw, uh, more melodic, cold, epic, atmospheric black metal, but done in a very genuine way without using the typical crutches of symphonic and epic and atmospheric black metal, then this is something definitely for you to check out. Um, I'm going to provide links in the description to where you could check this out on Bandcamp and on Facebook. Uh, you could purchase this CD. Um, I got the CD, which is a very, very nice digipack. Ex excellent presentation with amazing, amazing album cover art. The back um, came with a sticker and a poster, which I actually have hanging um, right there. Um, with some excellent artwork on it. Uh, if you guys want to get that package, hop on it. Um, as I said, the link will be in the description. You can listen to the album on their Bandcamp if you like it, buy it, support it, get it any way you want. Um, just support the artist, it be it digital or physical. I uh, highly recommend the physical. Um, for a score, I'm feeling a strong 9 on this album. Uh, if you're, the mood strikes you, this is for you. If you're not in the mood for it, then it probably won't click with you. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.